It's Friday and that can only mean one thing. Well, maybe a couple. No. Hi, my name is Frank. As we've established, it's Friday. That means kind of kick back, relax, talk music, and open the mail. Different scenery today. I'm enjoying some uh, Canadian whiskey with some Diet Coke. I got the shades on. I'll take them off. Different, um, different setup today. Different environment. Summer is so short in this part of the world. I thought I would come out on our back deck here and open the mail. And there's noise going on here. A, ma uh, a neighbor over there jamming some tunes and a neighbor over there is mowing the lawn but let's get beyond that and talk some tunes all right so at the time of recording this video the family and i just spent a day out at the lake and i gotta tell you if you're able to even a 24-hour getaway is just does wonders, does wonders for the soul, does wonders for the mind. So I threw up a couple of pics, that was fun. But just before we left, I got um, this in the mail. I did a trade and it took everything, all the willpower I had not to open it. So I'm gonna open that up. Look in the viewfinder, I got a cap on again. I've been at the lake, been on the beach. Uh, so the hair is all matted, my nose is burned, so. Forgive me, dear 33ers, but first let's get to this. Um, here's a record I bought a while ago. Canadian Speed Metal Pioneers, Exciter, Heavy Metal Maniac. This was a reissue on this beautiful, I'm not a colored vinyl guy, you guys know that, but this is beautiful splatter vinyl. If you haven't seen it, so Exciter, as I said, they're pioneers of, of um, speed metal. And uh, this came out in the early 80s, but Exciter are back, and uh, their new guitarist, Daniel DK, super cool dude, um, he was actually a guest on the show a couple months ago, if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to leave a link, you will want to check it out, he's a great guy, big time record collector as well, he's been a guest on this channel a couple times, he used to be the guitar player in Diamonds, so I did grab that. The other one I grabbed was uh, Gary Clark Jr., Live, and I know many of you are familiar with Gary Clark Jr., but he's new to me. I um, I was late. I was late to this party, and I only recently discovered Mr. Gary Clark um, and his new album. Absolutely love it. This one of his live albums, and this kind of like, from what I'm getting, there's like two Gary Clark Juniors, like the studio guy who's really experimenting and taking blues. I think to the next level by combining various genres. He combines like reggae, blues, hip hop, rock, punk, soul, funk, all this stuff is just amazing. But live, this is really uh, traditional blues. It's just a smoking, smoking guitar player. So glad I found um, Gary Clark Jr. I mean, um, I would say he's maybe not as well known here in Canada as he is in other parts of the world, but uh, definitely worth checking out. So, so this, this uh, was was super cool. A Channel 33 RPM viewer by the name of Nate out in California reached out to me and he actually had an extra copy of the Fight album, War of Words, on vinyl. And longtime viewers of this channel will know that that is an album that's been on my want list for the longest time. And I sort of hesitated on getting it because it was pressed at, what was it called, MRP, Memphis Record Pressing, which is the same place that pressed that Ozzy Osbourne Ordinary Man. And that's gotta be one of the worst sounding pressings I've heard in a long time. So I was gonna seek out an original pressing of Fight War of Words, but then, again, Nate reached out to me, had an extra copy, so we actually worked out a trade. I got a ton of albums that uh, are departing the collection. Anyway, one of them was Audio Slave um, out of Exile, and that was on his most wanted list. He really, really wanted it, so I worked out a trade where I sent him that record, and he sent me Fight War of Words, plus he threw me some cash as well. So, um, that was awesome. That was great, and it came super quick. So, Nate, you're a good man. Thank you so much. He said this is his first time shipping a record, not only to Canada, but first time shipping a record so 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 um that was um awesome anyway let's crack this open oh, ho, 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 ho. 
I finally own it. I finally own it. <laughs> Sherry, my wife, Mrs. Channel 33, is sitting here giving me this weird, weird look. She didn't want to be on, on camera. As I said, we just came back from the beach, but oh wait, she's walking over. Are you coming on camera? What are you, what are you gonna say? There she is. Sherry, can you believe I got this? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've had this idea where I'm gonna have her back on, but I do these segments called Vinyl Dens, where we check out vinyl community music rooms. Where we check out music rooms from across the vinyl community around the world. And I thought it'd be cool to have a woman's perspective. So I'm really close to convincing her to come and doing those segments with me where I would talk about the gear and that sort of stuff, but she would talk about the setup of the room, I think, and sort of the design concepts and whatnot. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Anyway, so Nate, you rock, my friend. This is awesome. I got this at Mill Valley Music. It's 29 bucks, so it's good to see these guys were not um, price gouging. Uh, record Store Day Black Friday, first US LP release, a 1993 debut album from the band led by Rob Halford of Judas Priest, my favorite uh, heavy metal singer of all time. There's the back. Do we dare, do we dare open this record? I think that neighbor playing guitar, I'm gonna assume that, I'm gonna assume that his parents are out of town. He's got the garage door open and his amp fired up, so. Here we go, any inserts in this one? No inserts, we got a plain white inner, so of course we're gonna, we're gonna replace that with a MoFi. Well, here we go, here's the record. It's my splatter vinyl. So I will pop this on the turntable and I will report back in a future video to let you know how this sounded, but I'm super, super happy to finally get this fight. War of words, Nate, you rock. I hope you get your record in good time and I hope you enjoy that Audio Slave album. All right, dear 33ers, that's my outdoor Friday update. How is your week? What's new with you guys? What records have you picked up? Let me know in the comments below. Also, we think of that idea of Sherry joining me for Record Dan episodes. I think that'd be fantastic, but I would love your opinion. Dear 33ers, I hope each and every one of you has a fantastic weekend. Until next time, keep on spinning.